Today we're taking a look at the Wavelink ST348 dual NVMe cloning device. Thanks to Wavelink for sending this device over and sponsoring the video. The ST348 is an interesting little NVMe device. It supports connecting two PCI Express NVMe SSDs for either offline cloning without a PC, which is quite handy by the way, or you can use this as a PCI Express NVMe drive to a USB enclosure of sorts. You can basically connect two drives to your PC at up to 20 gigabits per second with the USB-C connection. That's a very fast speed and it's very nice if you want to run games or apps off of the NVMe drives connected. The kit that I have here today is coming with the main device. It has a sliding lid so you can basically pull that back and install your NVMe drives. I really like that Wavelink is including a USB-C cable that goes to either USB-C or USB 3 type A port. This will help ensure maximum compatibility and you get that extra speed if you have a USB-C port on your PC. We're also getting four of these little rubber M.2 screw alternatives for securing the NVMe drives into the main bay. Wavelink also included two thermal pads for each of the SSDs, which is very nice. That'll end up help transferring heat from the drives to the case, which basically turns the case into a passive heatsink. This is a very welcomed addition in my opinion. The case itself feels like a nice quality piece of tech, so it's definitely good to see that all of these accessories are included. This definitely puts the device in a higher quality tier of NVMe adapters. The offline cloning is a fairly easy and straightforward process. Just install both drives, connect the power adapter, and then press and hold the clone button until all of the lights are blinking. Then you want to confirm the clone by basically tapping the clone button again. As for the cloning speed, it was relatively good. In terms of connecting the drives to your PC by USB though, you have a few options. By default, the two drives installed, they will basically open up as extra drives installed to the PC. When I plugged it in, I was able to browse out to each of the drives and look at their contents. You can either use these as individual drives, installing apps or games on them, or you can set up some type of RAID depending on your operating system. I was able to get about 15 to 17 gigabits per second in terms of transfer speed to my PC when using USB-C, so that was pretty good in my opinion. Like I said though, if you want to configure a RAID setup, you do have this functionality built into Windows 10 and 11. You can actually set up a software powered RAID 0 for increased write and read speed, or a software RAID version 1 where you can ensure that the drives have the exact same data written to them in case of a drive failure. This is actually a pretty neat feature. I know that desktop PC motherboards have tons of NVMe slots, but you have to open up your PC to access them and actually be willing to do that. If you're on a laptop or a mini PC, for example, you probably don't have as many NVMe slots, and you probably only have one to begin with. A device like this is super worthwhile if you're the kind of person who works on consumer or customer PCs, or whatever workflow you utilize requires using multiple NVMe drives. I would definitely recommend this device if you fall into any of those categories, as I found the performance and the value to be very good. Right now, it looks like this device is going for about 80 to 90 bucks on Amazon, depending on any of the sales or coupons, so I think that's a pretty solid price for a quality drive enclosure like this. If this video helped you out, I would definitely appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button to let YouTube know, so they'll recommend this video to other people researching NVMe enclosures. If you're looking for more gaming and home lab videos, as well as reviews like this one, definitely get subscribed to the channel and ring that bell for video notifications. Until next time, stay connected.